I want Dream Chaser to be so much more than it is. You know, the idea of an endless runner with a heart, with a purpose. Who am I and why am I running? These are the questions that sometimes don't get answers within the endless runner genre. Sometimes that's fine. We don't need to know why and having that background knowledge is often just a luxury. Dream Chaser tries desperately to make a difference and while it sometimes works, the experience as a whole is largely forgettable. The story focuses around your character, Nito, a night spirit who's been tasked with finding two crystals in order to restore his world. With heavy mythological overtones, the story is presented through lengthy and sadly ineffective talking head cutscenes. Dream Chaser is supposed to be so different because of the story it's trying to tell, but I quickly found myself wanting to skip them anyway. The only problem is that it's boring. I didn't care about Nito or the characters around him, and for an endless runner that boasts a story mode, that's a big problem. Not only this, but story mode only allows you a certain number of deaths, and trust me, they come hard and fast, before giving you two options. Either pay real cash to continue playing, or wait an absurd amount of time for your lives to regenerate. After my first run through of all my lives, I had to wait close to 8 hours before being able to continue the story. Now look, I'm sorry, but 8 hours is not an okay length of time to wait to be able to play a game that I paid for. So while you're waiting to play the story mode, there is an endless mode that serves as a bit of a distraction. The gameplay between the two modes is close to identical. Tilting your device left and right moves Nito, while touching the right side of the screen makes him jump. On the bottom left is the all-important boost button which sends Nito sprinting at breakneck speed. If you hit any parts of the environment, Nito loses a piece of his armor and falls to his knees in defeat when these are gone. In endless mode, you must reach checkpoints in order to keep running. And again, bumping into stuff is frowned upon. While you're running, you're collecting dream orbs, which act as the currency in the game. Eventually move so fast you'll have to slow down, otherwise face inevitable death. Dream orbs can be used to purchase items and upgrades in the shop, but again, Dream Chaser suffers at the hands of the who cares factor. None of the items feel necessary, and you're never really compelled to save up for any of them. Please don't be fooled by the images advertised for the game. While the screenshots do make Dream Chaser look quite pretty, you'll quickly learn that the game recycles the same ugly, boring course over and over. Or, you could pay real cash for the flowery pink petals in the Sakura world. Or save up Dream Orbs for what will seem like years, no doubt. But there's only this one extra world, and it'll get old fast. Hopefully this will be addressed in future updates. Now while the music is obviously looped, the soundtrack is Dream Chaser's saving grace. The orchestrated tunes add a level of immersion, a mix between an eerie Danny Elfman track and an epic movie trailer theme. Full of chanting choirs, strings and harsh drum beats, the booming soundtrack definitely gets the blood pumping as Nito sprints and jumps through the course. With Dream Chaser, you're led to believe this runner is going to be different. This is the one, the runner to end all runners. You start up the game, the menus are slick and the music is beautiful. And then you begin playing and it all falls apart really quickly. The whole experience is shallow and uninspired, and on top of the 99 cent admission fee, it has the audacity to make you wait to play it. I wanted to give you a chance, Dream Chaser. I truly did. But like my mother always said, it's better to be alone than with someone that doesn't care about you. I'm sorry, Dream Chaser, but it's you. It's not me. And no, we can't still be friends. Thanks for joining me for today's review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest mobile gaming content. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.